In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can convert the Java code that we have over here to Kotlin. Now, in order to do this conversion, we have a couple of options like going to help and then clicking on this find action. And once you have the action pop-up coming up, you can simply type over here, convert Java file to Kotlin as you can see over here. The next step to do the same thing is going to the code option. So here you click on code and then the last option over here, convert Java file to Kotlin file. If you click on this, the whole code will get converted to Kotlin. You can see the file extension also changed to .kt. And this is the Kotlin version of the same Java code that we had earlier. So this way you can easily convert your Java code to Kotlin. The next thing that we need to do is configure our Kotlin project. So to configure it, we'll be going to tools, then we'll select Kotlin. And here you can see configure Kotlin in project. So click on that. And we will select this option, all modules containing Kotlin files. Kotlin compiler and runtime version is selected over here. Click on OK. You can see that the Gradle files have been updated now. So we'll click on sync now. You can see over here the Gradle download is in progress. And once it's done, we'll be able to work on our project. Now the Kotlin runtime is pretty small. So the APK that gets generated is marginally larger in size. And uh, the Kotlin compiler basically produces bytecode, which is exactly what Java produces. So there is really no difference in terms of look and feel of Kotlin application versus those written in a Java language. So that was about configuring your Android with Kotlin. And from next lecture onward, we'll be covering the basics or the fundamentals of Kotlin. And then once we are through that, we'll start working with the Android Studio and Kotlin.